In today's video, we're going to build this. So this slider changes this square's border radius. This is actually pretty easy to do. So I have this HTML here. We have our slider. We're setting the minimum range to zero and the maximum to 50. And then we have our square. Our CSS is pretty simple. We're bringing in some Google fonts. We're going to use CSS custom properties or variables. We have the body set up as flex just to center everything and make it look good. The square is set to a square and we're setting the border radius to our variable of radius. Everything else is very simple. And in our JavaScript, only six lines. So we're getting our slider, then we're getting our root, which is our document element. Then slider add event listener on the input, we're getting our event. And then we're just changing the root style and we're setting the property of the radius variable to the e.target.value and then adding the percent symbol. And that is it. So we're gonna take this up a notch and we're gonna add the ability to manipulate each corner independently. So I'm just gonna paste these in here. Let's rename this one to slider all. So we have our slider top left, our slider top right, slider bottom right, and slider bottom left. We're gonna make this a grid just to make it look a little bit better. Then in our JavaScript, it's gonna require quite a few more lines, but that's okay. The first thing that we'll do is get some more constants. So we have our original slider all, which is here at the top. Then we have our top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left sliders. Again, we're getting our root. And then we're going to keep track of our corner values through a global variable. So we have each of those here. There will initially be zero, of course. Now in our slider all, we're gonna set all of our values independently. Of course, they're all going to be exactly the same. And then we're gonna call a function that says set radius, and we'll build that function in just a minute. All right, next we'll add our top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left event listeners. Within each, they will set their respective corner and then call the set radius function. And here is that set radius function. We're just going to define the radius as the top left, percent, top right percent, bottom right percent, and bottom left percent. And then we pass that into our root style set property on the radius variable to our radius. So this will always retrieve the current values of these corners. One thing that we'll need to keep track of is if we set the top left and then we go back to setting all corners, we're gonna have to reset those at some point. So we're gonna add a reset function and so if slider all value is greater than zero, then we're going to reset that slider to zero and reset all of the corners. So we're gonna add this reset to our individual corner sliders. And then we'll manually add the reset as well to the slider all slider. And this will reset the individual sliders anytime we try to manipulate all corners at the same time. All right, now we should be able to manipulate all four corners at the same time. And if we try to manipulate the individual corners, it will reset and then allow us to do that. And back to all corners, it will reset the individual ones. Pretty simple. All right, I hope this video helped you. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.